Hi and welcome to today's webinar on how to get from 2D to 3D and then I'm going to show some of the benefits of intelligent 3D models uh, for building design as well. So my name is Jonathan Reinhardt, I'm a technical specialist on architecture and BIM uh, on Autodesk products and I have a background in, in uh, BIM and architectural technology as well. So I'm going to share some workflows with you today uh, and this is going to allow you to collaborate and, and maybe innovate a bit further uh, in your design process. Uh, building information modeling, so uh, more efficiently uh, BIM uh, allows you to plan, design, construct and manage buildings and infrastructure and the shift to digital process begins with BIM. So building information modeling is that intelligent 3D model based uh, process that equips architecture, engineering and construction uh, consultants and firms uh, with the insights and tools to more efficiently plan, design, construct and manage buildings and infrastructure. Uh, with BIM you're able to improve project understanding and decision making uh, and share and use the same consistent data across the project life cycle uh, from your desk or in the, the construction site as well and you're able to respond quickly to change with processes that are smarter and faster. So some of the benefits of, of, of uh, using BIM within, in your business is that you're able to win more work by meeting client demands for BIM deliverables and you know effectively communicating design intent uh, to different project uh, stakeholders be able to deliver higher quality designs by improving your building's performance and analysis uh, and using VR and visualizations to experience your uh, designs before they're built and you'll be able to work more efficiently by reducing errors and change orders uh, and finally you'll be able to expand your, your billable services to clients so by extending the service uh, beyond design and into building operations with model maintenance uh, and recasting your advisor relationship with clients to deliver long term value. So for those of you that are, are currently using maybe an AutoCAD or traditional 2D workflow, I'm just going to show you how you might transition that workflow uh, from something like AutoCAD into Revit. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some uh, workflows uh, beyond Revit as well, leveraging that further information. So here we have a standard uh, floor plan with, that's been created in AutoCAD. You can see it's been created in the, in the standard way using layers and, and uh, line work. Everything's on a separate layer, all the dimensions are on. Uh, and you can imagine that obviously the elevations, uh, floor plans, sections, uh, everything has been created separately, all schedules, the whole lot, uh, complete, completed um, separately uh, and, and not necessarily based on, on, on this single floor plan. Um, that all works well and good you know and moving to something like BIM you'll still be working in these 2D uh, processes but you're able to integrate it with your BIM workflow so I'm just going to jump into Revit here uh, and I'm going to show you that I've actually linked in that particular CAD drawing I just had open there uh, within AutoCAD and I linked it in using the insert tab within Revit uh, and just went to link uh, CAD it's quite a simple workflow you select which uh, DWG which drawing file you want to bring in select it uh, then say you want to preserve the color some people like to use it just black and white um, and then if you want to bring in all the layers you might only want to bring in the only the visible layers from that particular CAD drawing and this works quite like an XREF in that it's a live link if you change the CAD drawing hit save and then refresh it in Revit it's got those changes are going to appear within here as well so it's, it, it's quite a, a dynamic workflow as well it's not just a static workflow and you can choose your import units you just click open then your drawing will link in uh, and you can choose to pin that in place or not I like to pin it in place it just saves it moving by mistake um, and you can see we've got the pin here uh, you can just unpin that or you can pin it to have it in place I like to have it in place it just stops it moving around when maybe you're tracing over it uh, you're also able to control and select layers within this as well so at the moment so you can see here we've got quite a busy drawing going on here at the moment. I'm able to zoom in on this uh, particular drawing. I'm able to just investigate maybe the dimensions in here uh, to check that I'm happy with them. Uh, I can also query those layers as well. I can click on that particular layer uh, and I can say, oh, I want to hide that particular layer in that view. Uh, and that's turned off everything on that particular layer. So you've complete control. Uh, you're able to snap to different points as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start tracing over it just using the wall tool within Revit. I'm just going to choose a wall from architectural. And this can be any type of wall. Uh, so we've got a, a typical wall build up here. 
290 thickness. I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. We can go back and change that on our location line. Just going to finish face exterior, uh, and then I'm just going to find the outside of our building. Uh, so I'm just going to generally kind of trace this here, uh, just to get the outside. Uh, so just by hovering over a line, you can see the center line shows up. Uh, I can then click that. Uh, that is then place that line with, within that. Um, I can then continue to do this for the rest of the building. So zoom in on the wall line again, click it there. And you can continue to do this ar ar around your entire building uh, from your AutoCAD drawing. You can also start uh, a blank uh, Revit file if you want as well, Revit uh, from a Revit template, uh, and create uh, your, your, your drawing without linking in the CAD file. You mightn't have started for whatever reason. But just to show you that you can still use these workflows alongside, um, alongside your traditional workflows as well. So I'm just going to connect all of these. Just going to hit save on that. It's going to ask me where I want to save. I'm just going to save it in there. Uh, it's quite a handy little um, tool. Just going to right click, connect that. Uh, I'm just going to. This is a 3D view. So if I just jump to my 3D view, uh, I can see that all those 2D lines that I've placed as walls uh, will become now 3D objects. You can see there we are. You see brick on the outside. That particular one is faced the wrong way. I can just hit spacebar, uh, and that's brought that around like that. So I'm just going to go back into my floor plan, have a look. I'm just going to stretch my crop region. Uh, just have a look, see how, my, how my, my floor plan is looking. Great, we've got uh, we've got some more. So our wall is actually not that length. So WA for wall tool. Uh, quite a handy little shortcut to know. Uh, just going to place my wall. You can see that the walls then auto connect uh, at each point. Uh, and we've got a wall at the back here as well. So I want to line that one up. I'm going to use my align tool. I'm going to click that like so. Uh, and then I just want to fillet these together. So I'm using something uh, called the trim or extend corner. I, TR is the keyboard shortcut. It uh, becomes very handy. And you can see there you've got a, a basic kind of, of uh, wall uh, structure uh, connected. And you can continue to, you know, uh, trash that out, put in your internal walls. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hide that for the moment. Uh, so here we have, I'm just going to convert. I'm going to close this floor plan. Uh, what I'm going to do that wall is joined, yeah, they're all joined. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start converting this, uh, just this front facade into maybe uh, some sort of curtain wall. You can see here we've got a, a pre-installed curtain wall. Exterior, it's gonna ask me about joining, and said unjoin elements, that's just the corners, that's absolutely fine, you can tidy that up after with, with some mullions. Um, might just change that to a curtain wall front. There we are, that's something there. Uh, I can go in and add start and add more intelligent detail into that as well. So we've got a, a basic floor plan shown up here. Then what I can do, I can start adding more detail to this. So currently there's no mullions on this uh, wall. I just want to go into the edit type while it's selected. Uh, and I want horizontal grid. Um, mullions, yeah. So I want to put in some rectangular mullions all around. Uh, we can vary them if we want, if they need to be. Uh, and the same for the horizontal mullions. We want 30 mil square. We're happy with that. 30 mil square. There we are. And I'll make this one 30 mil square as well. Uh, and this is just intelligent information that you're able to schedule late, later. You can even put in cost and fire ratings in here. I can put in uh, one arrow uh, wall rating or fire rating on that. I can put in an SQM uh, square meter rate, whatever it is, if it's 500 a square meter or, or, or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you can also put in a link for manufacturers, stuff like that. And you can schedule out all of this information uh, as well. So I'm just going to hit apply on that. I click OK and you can see that that's brought up some mullions there as well uh, and I'm also going to just add I'm going to go into my wall type here click edit type also uh, put in a cost here I'm going to say 350 cost as a, a square meter rate uh, and fire rating we want this to be a two hour fire rating uh, click apply click OK and I'll show you the purpose of this in a moment and you can see that we've got a fairly decent building and we want to place a roof on it obviously we can't have have, it, have a, a, a building without a roof. Uh, so I'm just going to hide that floor plan. So it's going to hide that floor plan. I'm just going to use the WT side by side um, uh, window tile there. Uh, so I'm just going to place a, a, a roof, similar way you place uh, walls. I'm just going to choose roof by footprint. Uh, we want to place it at 
uh, one place at level zero uh, and I'm going to place an offset on it then so I'm going to use this called just uh, select walls uh, so so just select all of them like that and we've got our, our walls at the front here as well so I'm just going to trim those together as well and I'm just going to click uh, it tells me I need to close loops that means that you just need to trim this is quite a common thing Just going to hit that. You see that f that that wall, that roof has been cre created. I'm just going to click no for for that, uh, and I'm just going to change the offset to eight meters from level zero. And you can see now we've got a a, a fairly uh, um, you know simple three D model has been created in a few minutes. Uh, so I'm just going to tab into all of those, tab into those that, and I just want to attach these to the top of my wall. So that just closes off the top of your wall. So fairly basic 2D to 3D uh, uh, building there. Uh, just to show you how you're able to add additional information. Same for roof. You can go in and add your intelligent information within here as well. Uh, so I could put in a cost as well per square meter. Uh, comments or, or anything like that that I'm able to schedule out then. Uh, then within here I'm able to create a schedule. Uh, able to take all of that material that I just uh, placed. So walls. Uh, yes. Click OK. Uh, so what do we want? I want to take in the, the area. I want to take in the fire rating, which I did populate. Uh, and I want to take in the cost as well. So this is quite a simple, uh, a simple uh, so family and type. So we want to name them because you want to be able to categorize them. Uh, simple kind of schedule here. Uh, this can be then placed on a sheet or just used for, for analytical purposes. As you can see, all the fire ratings that I inputted there within my wall, all the rates for cost that I inputted there. Uh, so you can imagine how far this can go. This is quite a simplistic version of it. Uh, but you can imagine the sort of level of detail that you can go into there uh, as well. So that's how you transition uh, maybe from an AutoCAD workflow into a Revit workflow. So now I'm going to go a bit deeper into further workflows that you'll be able to enable uh, enable within your company as a result of using uh, AutoCAD to Revit and, and beyond. Uh, so Autodesk Revit is your BIM solution so that supports uh, integrated workflows and multidiscipline design uh, and with Revit you can make design changes quite easily um, as you can see if you move uh, something in 3D environment or 2D environment it's going to reflect uh, on all of your drawings. Uh, you'll be able to design with intelligent parametric objects um, so that's things like walls or fire ratings or if it's furniture uh, and windows and doors as well and then you can generate your floor plans and elevation sections and schedules all automatically like I, I showed you briefly there uh, and then you can extend the models uh, for analysis visualization coordination uh, and collaboration as well So Autodesk's uh, portfolio of BIM technology supports end-to-end uh, -end workflows uh, across the, the building disciplines from the project's uh, conception to completion. Um, and, our, and Autodesk solution sets work together uh, to provide validation for most of your critical design decisions and with the Autodesk tools you can begin BIM workflows even at the conceptual stage of design. Uh, so analysis tools are, are built right into the BIM authoring application uh, and making it easier to make high performance building design, uh, structural analysis and integral part of, of your design process. So. Autodesk integrated visualization and VR capabilities give you uh, the unique insight that you need. And finally, then the cloud based collaboration of something like BIM 360 Design um, help you uh, put projects at the center of the design team, providing team members access to the most up to date uh, project data whenever they need it. So, looking at something else that plugs into Revit, uh, we, we uh, call it Dynamo Studio. So, this allows you to automate tasks and optimize your designs. So, what if you could use the power of computing to rapidly generate multiple design options and, and find optimal solutions uh, to design challenges uh, and many design firms are embracing computational design tools uh, for this purpose so with computational design using Dynamo Studio or using Dynamo you can more easily uh, test iterate and study numerous design options as well um, and this goes for architecture engineering uh, and, and other disciplines as well within the design process uh, and you're able to model more sophisticated design geometry using simple data, logic uh, and analysis and save time by automating repetitive tasks. Uh, 
Dynamo Studio helps design firms gain the benefits of computational design uh, through a visual logic environment so no programming is required uh, and you can work with Dynamo within the Revit environment uh, or untethered from Revit using Dynamo Studio. Uh, so Dynamo uh, has broad interoperability with other tools and this allows for, for maximum flexibility in implementing Dynamo into your BIM workflows. So with Dynamo, changes and updates to projects become exponentially easier and more time efficient. Uh, you can rapidly take an idea and create multiple iterations or design alternatives rather than uh, expending unnecessary time and effort manually making and saving the changes. So with Autodesk Tools, the BIM process starts at the earliest stages of design and this carries seamlessly through to further stages of development, avoiding the need for remodeling. Uh, you can sketch in 3D, um, collaborate on, on, on concepts as a team, analyze the potential building performance and iterate uh, designs fluidly. And you can capture your design ideas uh, wherever they strike uh, on a mobile application or an iPad using something like Format Pro uh, and, and it allows you to sketch design ideas uh, very uh, very early age on in the process and you can also uh, import that information into Revit and you can export back to Revit as well um, and BIM based conceptual design starts within Autodesk Format Pro and if you use Format to develop early concepts you can do massing, uh, conduct energy studies and conduct concept conceptual design reviews uh, with the team or with clients and once you're ready to take your design further you can seamlessly transition your Format data into Revit using the power of the cloud as well. So with Format, data is seamlessly carried uh, from concept to design development and integrates with Revit as well. And this, uh, or you can work on the go as well and use it on a mobile device also. Um, so looking at uh, uh, Autodesk Recap, so it's easier than ever to implement BIM on, for example, renovation projects or if you have existing buildings, uh, thanks to the increasing accessibility of laser scanning and data preparation tools. So using BIM on uh, uh, refurbishment or re renovation projects allows you to design with greater precision, uh, helping to avoid issues that may arise when, when 2D design files uh, don't reflect as-built conditions. Um, and it also speeds the design and documentation process as well and allows you to provide a more accurate model of as-built conditions uh, to the project owner for use in, in, in the operation and, uh, and maintenance. Um, and Autodesk has created a, a powerful and easy to use workflow for reality capture in order to bring you a scan to BIM workflow that integrates with Revit as well. And Autodesk has partnership with, with every major hardware vendor including uh, UAV drone manufacturers and laser scanner manufacturers as well. And Recap has been designed for, for use by someone with no previous experience so, so it's very user friendly and one click automated workflows do, do quite powerful tasks as well um, and there's intelligent cleanup services automatically uh, removes unwanted noise uh, and more importantly Revit uh, or Recap integrates with all of Autodesk key AEC uh, design tools as well. So here's a look at Recap and the ease at which you can work with scanned data. Uh, after importing your file it, it is possible to review the imported data in 3D and push uh, push and pull the extents of the scan uh, to ensure that you are working with the most critical and relevant data possible as you prefer for, prepare for linking in the Revit environment. It is also possible to spot dimensions, uh, points of interest and get a sense of the scale of the overall building envelope. For example, once you save your work and recap, you're able to link the data into Revit with an insert link process similar to the CAD process and use this data as the base of your design development. This example shows the completed uh, uh, detailed design model that is based off the point cloud data and you can see the model has been developed for structural accuracy and materials have been considered as well. Uh, with this level of detail and accuracy you, you, you'll, uh, uh, you will be able to explore uh, and understand the, the building information model in detail and feel comfortable with an accurate as built model uh, handoff as well. So recognizing the long-term environmental impact of buildings, uh, sustainable design is an, an imperative for many design firms and, and Autodesk BIM tools uh, make it easier than ever to incorporate sustainable decision making even at the earliest stage. Uh, our powerful analysis tools use leading simulation engines for whole building uh, analysis including energy, cooling, heating, daylighting and solar radiation as well using something like Autodesk Insight. 
and HOK, for example, is pursuing an, a net zero carbon design portfolio by 2030, and Autodesk's Insight uh, empowers HOK's architects to, to model the energy performance impact of design decisions early and often. And of course, there is there is a direct workflow between Revit and Insight. Uh, from within Revit, you're able to use uh, Insight and send your energy model uh, for analysis. So Revit uh, includes this direct access to building performance. Uh, and with the push of a button, you can send your Revit model to the cloud for analysis. And results are quickly returned in a visual, easy to read format, uh, making it easier to, to, to interpret the results. So Autodesk Insight helps you discover a fast, intuitive, outcome-driven guide to, to better building energy and environmental performance uh, throughout the building life cycle. So, so Insight enhances Revit and enables you to, to visualize and, and interact with key performance indicators, uh, benchmarks, factors, ranges and specifications as well of, of your building design. Um, with real-time cause and effect feedback to guide you towards better outcomes. Uh, once analysis is finished, you can access this in Autodesk Insight where you can change design options for better performance. What about if you could experience your design before they were built? So today that's possible with BIM-based immersive visualization and VR tools. Um, the experience these tools create helps you understand and interact your design in a whole new way with an immersive visualization or VR experience. You can make better decisions uh, based on real world settings, uh, engage clients in the design process like never before by allowing them to virtually step inside their project. Uh, and this is done using something called Revit Live, which also links directly into Revit as well. So with Autodesk Live, your Revit model is transported into an easy to navigate workspace uh, and powerful processing capabilities. You can orbit around the model with easy uh, and navigate to your favorite views and the point of view location markers by simply clicking on the icons in the view. Um, with Revit Live, you will be able to understand, explore, and share design decisions easily with the power of the cloud. Automated data preparation makes this easy uh, to use tool a great addition to your workflows. Uh, so with one click button out of Revit Live will allow you to look at design in a different way uh, and will even go for uh, so far as experimenting with, with linking analytical environments into your spaces. Uh, using something like robot structural analysis, structural engineering professionals can capitalize uh, on the interoperability and bi-directional links between Autodesk Revit Structure, Advanced Steel uh, and various Revit extensions for Revit Structure software. Um, such as robot structural analysis uh, and advanced steel, AutoCAD structural detailing uh, and various other tools as well to be able to enhance your, your, your model information and leverage that information created within Revit. Uh, integrated design solutions for reinforced concrete and steel, so Autodesk robot analysis, uh, contains integrated uh, reinforced concrete design and steel design modules based on more than 40 international steel codes and 30 reinforced concrete codes helping to simplify the design process and assist with the selection, uh, evaluation and optimization of structural elements. So BIM allows you to better coordinate your design with the extended project team using tools like Autodesk Navisworks Manage. Uh, Manage allows you to combine design and construction files from various formats into a holistic model for project review. So again, a direct workflow. Uh, Navisworks reads native Revit files, allowing you to move that data between your applications fluidly. Uh, and you can use Navisworks to combine Revit files across the project and incorporate files from other formats. Uh, once your files are in Navisworks, you have several features for working with the data. So the most commonly known features of Navisworks is clash detection and model coordination. With this feature, you can anticipate and reduce potential clashes uh, and problems before construction, uh, minimizing expensive delays and rework. So another powerful benefit of Navisworks is the aggregation of data into a single model. Uh, with this, you can combine design and construction data uh, into a single uh, model using published data uh, and model aggregation tools as well. You can also use Navisworks for model simulation and animation, uh, where you'll be able to animate and interact with objects for better uh, simulation, looking at a 4D timeline video uh, creation as a feature of Navisworks as well. 
So cloud-based collaboration tools are enabling design teams to work in new ways on BIM projects. Uh, by centralizing project data in the cloud, architecture and design firms can accelerate design delivery by enabling them in multiple offices, even on different continents, to concurrently work on shared models. In addition, this technology makes it easier for, for architecture firms to work fluidly and joint venture uh, projects as well. Autodesk's solution for cloud-based design collaboration is referred to as BIM 360 at a high level. Uh, this encompasses several cloud collaboration tools. One part of BIM 360 is highly relevant to the AEC community is BIM 360 design. So with BIM 360 design, you'll be able to utilize the design collaboration module to enable cloud collaboration and utilize desktop connector and document management for seamless data transfer and file organization. Here's the project homepage in BIM 360 Design displaying uh, the current relevant data for a particular project. Uh, there are several modules within BIM 360 Design that greatly enhance collaboration as document management, uh, where you're able to organize data in your customer folder structure uh, for architects, engineers, consultants, and more. Easily review your files and, and models in the cloud through the BIM 360 design uh, web interface. You're, you're able to seamlessly navigate through the space and review construction conditions in real time. Uh, during virtual inspections, issues can be noted in the cloud model and shared with the team for review. Simply enter in an issue description, then assign that issue, choose a date and create your issue. You can see this issue is now submitted. So once created from the document management module, uh, issues may be tracked and responded to with ease. Uh, this highly connected data process makes tracking issues easy and fast. Uh, you can see in this example an official response is created and the activity is logged through email. It is also possible to compare versions of the model during 3D navigation uh, as the model changes states through the design process. Changes are listed for review and it is possible to then close the loop on the issue process with a model review. This is uh, one example of the power of BIM 360 design for your collaborative workflows relative to issue tracking. So we've covered many different products today uh, and there are a lot more including AutoCAD Civil 3D, uh, 3D Studio Max that also integrate with Revit as well. But I hope today that I've given you a flavour of, of some of the benefits of moving from 3D, uh, 2D to 3D workflows and beyond. Thank you very much for your time.